Be a little queenie to start with. Good morning guys and welcome to another episode on the OTT channel. Thought I'd change it up a bit instead of doing my big bad opener at home. I'll do it in the water and see if I can get it right what I'm trying to achieve for the day. Uh, so today, got the gun on board. We're going to uh, hopefully try and shoot something on the way into a creek. So hopefully a trout or maybe grab a cray. So I'm going to get stuck up the creek pretty much all day today dark again when I get out so obviously the sun's just coming up now so yeah so that's the plan for today we're just gonna head out past obviously we're going past a few of the wharves a few of these that live here know which way I'm heading but um, yeah so we're heading sort of south basically from or west if you want to be geographically correct we're heading west and uh, yeah so that's our plan for the day well um just cruise on steady, let this sun get up a little bit higher. Not sure what this water's gonna look like. It's a bit brown at the minute. The tides are just starting to get a little bit bigger, so yeah, we'll see what it goes like. But anyway, that's us for the day. Hopefully uh, the plan will come to fruition and we'll have a bloody good day. We're gonna do a catch and cook as well. Got a bit of stuff here. Pretty sure where I'm gonna get to up the creek. I should get a couple of nice fish, so. And being that I'm gonna be stuck there, for quite some time, didn't bring any food, so um, I'll show you me, me fridge later and the eskies, not a whole lot in there for me, but uh, yeah, see how we go. So I've been head down, bum up, watching the sounder, we've got the side view on, just looking for some more bombies in this area, and I must have the drag a bit tight. Nice cold on the old barrel, uh, dragging along behind, having a little ski. Anyway, we'll pull him in. Might um might let him go. I'm pretty confident we'll get something else today. But um yeah, I was trying for a trout across this area. So there you go. Nice card, little gold spot. Alright, so we've had a bit of a dive. It's starting to get pretty gross down there now. It's only four metres of water. And you can't see next to nothing on the bottom there. Had a bit of a dive, quickie, and uh, the old GoPro battery went flat on the goggles, but anyway, it's got a nice, nice little flag for lunch. Perfect eating size for me. There's a few trout down there, but I'd rather not shoot them unless they're like a nice size. They would have been just legal, 47, 48 probably, I think they only got to be 45. We got here 45 coral trout 45 so there you go so it would have been just legal but anyway too much for me anyway legal trout one of those just perfect and that there is just as good as eating as a mangrove jack or anything like that there were some absolute whopper mawong down there absolute monsters and it gets you old boom, 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 heart pumping a bit when something now I'm talking these things would have been close to a metre long there was three of them down there all hanging around so but anyway that's lunch the tides the tides starting to get up a bit now so that's uh that's good that's what I'm waiting for here I'm waiting for the tide to come up a bit because I won't be able to get up my creek until that tide's got enough water in it because it's really quite a quite a wide mouth so it's very shallow for a long way and there's a couple of rock bars in there. So I'll get this guy on ice and uh, yeah, start moseying up towards me creek. And hopefully we can give this new little Abu Garcia rod and drill we got uh, a bit of a canine in the mangrove. Right, so on first hook up here. Second bait. Oh, probably a good queenie I'd say. Oh, not too bad. Nothing massive. Good start though. Got a few of his mates there.
Oh, fair hook too. What a bugger, mate. Oh, there you go. A bit of a little queenie to start with. Send him back. Okay, so it's pretty much top of the tide now. As you can see, I'm fishing out the other side of the boat. Uh, so the wind's, wind's taking over the slight breeze. Blowing in that way now. All the leaves are starting to head out. So pretty much tells me it's the top of the tide and the wind's taking over now. So it's pretty much died. Fishing wise. Was a few nibbles earlier, but old story, no wobble, no gobble. But um, yeah, so we'll just wait it out for a little bit and then this tide will turn. Might even move up a little bit further around the corner. There's a small island just around that corner. I need to get some liveys. That's my aim. So to get stuck in here, I want to get stuck in here for the low because obviously once the tide's high, all the mullet go up into the mangroves and they're hidden. And uh, once obviously all the tide goes out, mullet come out. So that's the plan to get stuck in here for the day. Low tide's at four o'clock. So it's going to be a long, long day. But um, yeah, is what it is. There is a big sandbar just here to be right. So there is a snag just up there. Normally you get a couple of mullet around that. But when the tide does drop right down, you can just hop out and walk out and fish off the sandbar. Uh, depending on what you want to do. Cook on the beach, cook in the boat, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know what time it is. I'll turn the sounders off. I don't need the sounders sitting there. It'll have to be 10.30 by now, 11 o'clock. So that tide should be on the turn. But yeah. As you can see, I'm sweating bullets here. It's bloody hot. I had to retreat off the off the casting deck. It was just too hot. As much as I hate the roof because of this, and it's in the way while you're trying to fish, it's probably one of the best things I've put on the boat. A bimini. It's obviously more rod holders. I've got me lights up the top, so there's a couple of other reasons why. But um, just to retreat out of that sun, because I've been tipping it's at least 45 here today. It's bloody hot. So, um, but yeah, that's a bit of a game changer for me. I can stay out here longer and do it easier. You know, not 20 years old anymore. Used to be able to do it, but not anymore. Getting a bit soft in our old age. Anyway, I'll keep chucking a couple of baits. I've got, I've got a full floating muley or pilcher, whatever state you live in. Hanging out the back off that one, just on the edge of that sandbar. That sandbar sort of finishes there and drops into a bit of a gutter over here. So that's sort of sitting on there. And uh, yeah, so you will get fish coming out and up onto the sandbar. Anyway, we'll keep trying. And I'll turn this sucker back on if we get a bit of action. Legal jack, but I don't generally keep them when they're, when they're that size. Some people do. There is no point, I think, keeping a fish that small. Whoa, 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 whoa! So we're on two rods here. So there you go, nice queenie. Let him go. And see what's happening out the back here. Oh, shark. Just seen his dorsal fin there. Yep. Shark for sure. Wow, oh, it's all going on. Right, so we just come back around our little island now. I just had a throw. I think I've got a few here. Just drove the Minn Kota into the bank, so that was pretty healthy for it. I think we're good to go. I think I see a couple of nice ones in there. Oh, look at them all here. The only downfall about it is I don't have a drawstring net. So hopefully, these will all get caught in the bag. Beautiful. 
There you go, a couple of better ones in there, still a few smallies. Just chuck that on anchor for a minute, sort this out. Right, so we just got smoked on two rods. I'm just chucking one out under that tree there, just in the edge of the shadow, and just lobbing just a floating dead bait in under that tree. This one took off and pff, there was no stopping it. Busted off, that's only 20 pound. And then I lost me livey again. That one went off while I was diving on that one, so starting to heat up a little bit. I'm just about to overheat, but anyway, we'll keep going. Your little ivy's kicking well there. See if I can get one. I forgot my net, so I'm having absolute all sorts of fun trying to get these out. All right. There you go. Oh, oh look at that. Spat the hook out. How lucky is that? Nice jack. Put him on the sticker. Actually, I've got the big brag mat here. Be all cool and shit. If I can get it out. No, we'll go on the sticker. Forty-one. Not bad. He can stay in the esky, that fella. Only allowed two of these guys, so you want to make sure the two that you keep are good. In true GoPro fashion, the battery went flat when I was down there. So, we ran out of liveys, obviously. So we went on the hunt, and boom, first cast. Got some nice ones, I better put some water in there. It's pretty hot. Probably cooked them all already. In the time I changed the battery. Some humdingers here. Oh, hopefully they'll come good. Got the pump on in the boat. Just gotta make sure I keep pushing the boat out into this channel. That should have pepped them up, hopefully. Make sure they're still floating. So one thing, one thing I do have to be careful of is what we don't really normally batter an eyelid about here, but that's crocodiles. We've had quite a few sightings lately and uh, not that far from where I am right now. So I'm getting a bit tired now. So when you're getting a bit tired, Go back down to your thirds, and it's not as big of an oomph to throw it if you want to correct cool terminology. Oomph. Hopefully, that camera's watching the water because I'm bloody not. Right. Oh, Jesus. I did tear a good hole in that net. Them all. Oh no, I got a few. That's good. Oh, hopefully they don't find the hole in my net. Solid mullet again. Ooh, I feel like I've got some good ones here. Feel the net banging. Oh, there's that hole in the net. 
One just got out. I think that might do for a bit. Well, the one drawback, the one drawback of throwing a throw net in your boat is the crap that ends up in there. Leaves, sticks, rocks, more leaves, some more bloody leaves and mud and shit. That's the biggest downfall of it. But, Without live bait, should be plenty in there now. Can't see him in there. Nice oh, running, it's all good. Might get out of this water while I still got two legs. Seems like a good idea. Must be lunchtime, what is it? 3.15. So it looks like I've missed lunch. But I've got a feeling we're going to do the catch and cook now. So what we caught this morning, she going in the frying pan. See if I sit this here. Get it out of the way. Kneel down. Be better. Right, catch and cook 101. Make sure you bring the bag with a fork and plate and tongs and all the rest of it like that. It's always forget something. So that's what I've forgotten today. So I've got my fish I cut up. And I'll be using that real that small flag that I got on the trawl. That's that's plenty. And one spud, there's a whole lot of chips there. And uh, one of these. Cheers. I'm coming in in a minute. Right, first things first. Oil. There you are. Some of the good stuff. Garlic salt. I think this one was a newie. Seasonal. A bit of secret ingredients. Mustard powder. Bloody hell, this is new too. Yeah. A little dollop of that. Right. Is that a swivel around? And then add beer. Fish. That shouldn't take too long to too long to uh, heat up. It's a nice thin frying pan. And that's the key when you're out in your boat or camping. Keep your frying pan nice and thin because you don't want to spend 20 minutes warming the sucker up. Because let's face it, you want to cook, get it over with because you're only running off these little cans. Speaking of little cans, these must have holes in them. Right, so I just had to swap GoPros. I'm not sure what's happening. This it just is that hot while it's been running for a little bit. But it's just turned off the other one. The one here. She's had enough for a while. Come over with a picture of a temperature on the front of it. So I'm tipping it's that hot that even the GoPro's given up. Anyway, here we go, guys. Catch and cook, fish and chips. You can see why a big fish is not worth cooking if there's just me or just one of you there's six pieces of fish there out of that one small spanish flag obviously by the time you add a bit of a bit of batter she expands a little bit but anyway i think that water might have turned already but uh yes yeah, so there you go catch and cook on the boat <sighs> Flies are friendly, sand flies are just about gone. There's a couple hanging around, not many, but um, yeah. 
Fresh fish. Be about it. Oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's a bucket load here to get through, so I think I might bag up some of it, put it in the fridge for later. I think I might be having dinner out here shortly. If uh, she's a 4.30 low tide, I've got to wait at least three to four hours before I can get out. So maybe 7, 7.30, I'll be getting out of here. So those liveys should stay alive and well, probably get that pump running in the background, plugging away. But um, yeah, anyway, I want to tuck in guys. Back on the hunt. Tide's turned, I got stuck, went for a wander on the Minkota. Up there, ended up high and dry. And uh, still bloody hot, eh? Should be, I think it's up past five now in the Arvo. But I just pulled up back here. With all those snags back there. I was fishing on the other side of them before. Whereas this time now, I'm sort of put my bait stand in there. I don't know what it is, but I've just been absolutely poleaxed on both rods. But I'll get a camera going. Standard as always, I got excited and forgot about the cameras. Um, yeah, so I'll just put another hook and little ball sinker on that one and <clears throat> I'll put a GoPro on and see what happens. Hopefully this one will work again. That was throwing the temperature gauge up before. So uh, see how we go. Still sweating bullets. Is that bloody hot here? I had to go towel head. Saving my neck and my bald head. Straight on again. Get out. Yes. Yes. That's a good jack, I reckon. Oh, no, it's a cod. It's a better cod anyway. Oh, you dirty big bugger. Me mullet sitting there looking out. The crab. Beautiful cod. He's come with me. He spewed up. A crab, me mullet, and a few other bits and pieces, I think. That hook out of him. Hell yeah. Hell do. Fish on! On the ice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Still got me bait. Oh, good jack too. I knew it was a jack. Is <laughs> oh, slam that into the bloody garment. There we go. Bloody ripper. This goes to show, I don't think he's quite as big as the last one. But they just inhale big mullet. Just inhale it. Make sure you always try and support your fish too, unless you're gonna chuck it in the esky. I'm tempted to throw him back. I think there's more. Do I throw him back and not get another one? Or do I, oh, 
Nah, I'll chuck him back. It's one of my rules here. Unless it's over 400, I don't take it. And they're, I think they're 28, their size limit. See you later, mate. Remember me next time. Another one. Well, the battery went flat with the one on my head, but um, so I missed the strike and everything, but I was ready for that bad boy. Here's a nice one. I'll put, put him on the mat there, measure yeah. him up. Touch under 40. So what's my golden roll? It's under 400. See you later, Chief. The clouds come in now. You can see how there. What a godsend. Oh, I suppose it's either cloud or it's going to be dark soon. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah, it's starting to cool down a little bit now. The fishing's just heating up. Got a few liveys left there. Hopefully, I think I need about three meters of water on the tide to get out of here. So I'm not too sure what it is at the moment, but this here has definitely got to be well under. It's probably got a, another good meter, meter or so of water. Probably up to the bottom of the green leaves there, somewhere there. Anyway, another bait on. Loving it. I'll try and get this GoPro working. This other one's not, not playing the game since it's been hot. Another nice jack. What have we got here right on the end? 41 we'll call it. It'll shrink a bit if you put him in the esky. But he's over 40 and that's me rule. He's coming home. Bloody beauty. So that's me two jacks now. That's me legal limit. A couple of cod in there, me stripey. I've had a bloody good day. It's been a real, real long day. Still probably got a oh, whole mate speared up a bit of. Here's that one of them little mullet that I threw out there. Look how quick it decomposed in his guts. <coughs> Stink too. <coughs> no good. Anyway. Yeah, so I've got me two jacks, a couple of cod, and the nice stripe you left in the esky that I speared this morning. That's a good day. Hooked some bloody nice fish. Those queenies, that one queenie that I got busted off on, he was nice. And um, yeah, just had a ripper day. Cooked a sick feed. Just waiting for water now. Story of me life, waiting for water. Bad old sunset. Pick my way through here now. Not a lot of water. Just telling me here we got 2.9 on the tide. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's three meters I need to get in here. So that's three meters a long way. There's two ways to get in here. Well right, we'll plot along, steady steady, no race. Funky blue disco lights going on down the back there. Crack another beer, just float along. Send it. And the tide is up a little bit more. I can sneak through there. But not today, Junior. Looks like this joint's been pummeled. It's been probably a good six months or so since I've been here, but it's so different. It's been smashed, everything's leaning over, but we haven't had any mad storms or cyclones or anything. It's just been smashed. So glad, really glad to be away from them. Bloody sandflies. Ah, cruel. I was going to bring the young fella today, but that's just nasty. I couldn't do it to him. Look. This is where we'll start to get into a bit of drama, I think. That's seven. Not a lot, and I've got a long way to go to get out of this mouth. <laughs> 